Hi, welcome to CG Turner. My name is Emma Chen. In this video tutorial, we are going to use Bluetooth to perform match moving uh, after create a CGI in 3x Max. We are going to uh, composite the real footage with uh, CGI. So, what is match moving? Match moving is uh, equal to camera checking and equal to camera matching. What Bluetooth can do is it can reconstruct 3D camera motion from 2D footage. We'll learn this technology from doing it. So start your Buju software and um, on the left side import your video. Okay. So now your um, video are in. You can hit the play to uh, preview the this video. So next next step is to. Uh, we're going to add in some uh, manually add in some target track point. So uh, so use this add target ta track uh, icon. Left click and uh, left click on the this uh, on the top of this chair. I put a uh, four tracking point around uh, this ch uh, corner of this chair, and I put around two tracking points here. So after we uh, manually add in some uh, checking point, next we are going to use this uh, check feature, uh, and uh, this will automatically uh, find a feature in your footage and uh, check those target point. And uh, this takes some time to uh, perform the checking uh, please know that this this step is only a 2d process it only track those points in a 2d space and later on we will use the camera solve option to convert those points into 3d space The next step is to use the camera solve icon on the left side and pre-check the optimized radio distortion parameter and optimize camera path smoothness. This will give your uh, camera solve uh, more smooth. Uh, you will find this option useful once you um, composite this footage with CGI. If you uncheck this smoothness, it will look a little um, not very smooth. Okay, let's stop. With any um, three points selected, and uh, go to 3D Task. Generate mesh using 3D view. This will generate mesh uh, from these three points. Use um, use export export mesh. You can export the mesh into OBJ file. As you can see, after the uh, camera saw process, it will generate those green and yellow dots. The next step is to uh, Next step is to um, to calibrate some of those points. Uh, for example, for those, oops, please toggle the active 
is edit mode. For example, for those three points in the 3D space, those points should be on a 2D plane. So please select those three points and go to uh, scene geometry and uh, add plane constraint. After you add plane constraint, use uh, connect to select it. And then use those use this planner constraint to adjust the camera so this will recalculate those um, camera so uh, point and uh, make these three dots um, on the same plan. Okay, next with the uh, three points selected, go to add test object. This time you can change type from ladybird, ladybird to land. And uh, alignment, please select, uh, orient and move. And select this plan through selected prediction. Okay. This will uh, create a plan from a 3D um, on this uh, um, three points. If you like, you can translate this plan into this space and preview um, to see if it's. Uh, match up well or not. Obviously, it's not uh, good enough. Um, so maybe you next time maybe you can select those points and uh, create uh, another plan uh, constraint. Okay. So uh, the final uh, the next step is to generate a. A mesh from those three points. Go to uh, 3D task and um, generate mesh from 3D view. Okay, this will create a, a three point mesh, a three edge mesh in the 3D space. So let's play the video again okay finally we are going to export uh, the camera saw go to export camera saw and uh, choose the type to 3dx max ms which is a max script and this will generate a max script for you and hit save. After you export the camera saw from Buju, start your 3DX Max, go to Max Script, Round Script, select the MS file you just exported from. Studio. So around the script Okay. In the perspective view hit C to switch to camera view. You'll see uh, ma uh, many um, uh, a point helper. Uh, that's that is the um, 
tracking point within Buju. And uh, now um, go to uh, rendering environment. Load load up your uh, footage in the background. Okay, and now in this uh, camera and click on show background. Okay. Next step is to in, import the uh, mesh from uh, after you export the mesh from Buju. Now you have to import the mesh. Uncheck the rotate model. As you can see now, uh, we have this mesh, and this mesh will help us to create a plan that represents uh, this part of the chair. I switch the color to white, so it, um, easier to see it. And if I like, convert it to Edward Poly. On the vertex level. Switch, um, switch um, uh, coordination to local, and uh, select those points. Move it in your camera view, and move along your local it it the vertice, vertice, vertice local coordination. Now you can play the camera to see the update of your uh, match moving to see if it, if there is uh, any jittering or and smoothness. Okay. Once you're satisfied with the setting, um, create any object you like. Here I create a teapot here. And the uh, next step is to um, um, I'm using the final render stage one um, to perform the um, lighting. And you can make it your own lighting within 3D Max. And now uh, create a source light source. Because in the footage we have a light from a window, so here we also create a light. We create this um, uh, final render rectangle light to uh, mimic to mimic uh, the light from window. Play around with the value if you like. Now make a test render for this. Now we have this uh, composite image. Um, next step is to set the um, material. 
um, select this teapot. Oops. Select the teapot. And I like to change shader to orange and green. Change the color to um, red. Apply and uh, please check the two sided. This will make sure that uh, we will not see through the see through the fruit, um, teapot. And next step is to. Um, very important because as you can see not right now the um, this mesh are vis visible and uh, we only want uh, the sh we only want the shadow but we don't want this white mesh to show up so therefore we apply we apply a very special material um, made shadow material apply to it and um, now the mesh disappear but, um, but the plan still there if you like you can uh, change the shadow a little bit red so the shadow will uh, reflecting the color of this teapot and will make it uh, much more realistic and the final thing to say um, if you want to um, oh, no. Thank you for watching this video tour and bye bye.